Hey 76ers, this is the Trash Panda and today we're going to be talking about cutting fluid, a very valuable junk item in Fallout 76. We'll go over what it is, how to get your hands on it, but most importantly, why you want the plan to craft this item. So without further ado, let's get into it. As most 76 players know, there's some items that we typically run short on. These can include things like aluminum, ballistic fiber, ceramic scrap, and concrete. But one of the big ones we find ourselves short on often is waste oil. Oil is often used to craft weapons such as the 50 cal, the pepper shaker, the auto axe, and the fixer. But it's also used to paint your armor and weapons as well as craft camp items such as lights and defense turrets. But the most common place that we use our oil is ammunition. For all you wastelanders that love using your flamers as much as I do, you know that getting ammo for it can be a pain unless you grind out daily ops and expeditions. Without perks such as Ammo Smith and Super Duper and the legendary perk Ammo Factory, we can only produce 20 fuel for the 5 oil we use to craft it. In addition to the fuel, your 40 mic mic rounds for your auto grenade launcher and many of the grenades and mines that you craft require oil. The way most people get their oil throughout Appalachia is traveling through barns and shelters, aimlessly looking through junk until they find something like an oil can or a gas canister. These items can then be deconned at a workstation to give you one to two oil per item, which really is not enough bang for our buck. The other common way of getting oil is finding an oil seep out in the world, building a camp, placing an extractor and then a generator wiring them both together, and then sitting and waiting for one oil every three minutes. With an extractor capacity of only five oil. Yeah, I don't think so. And this is where we get to cutting fluid. Cutting fluid can be found throughout Appalachia in a few random spots and can spawn in toolboxes and containers. It can then be deconned to produce three oil and one steel. Getting three oil from a single junk item is nice, but we want to be able to mass produce this effect and with the lack of and randomness of spawns that cutting fluid has in the wasteland, farming the item itself is not ideal. What we want to be able to do is craft cutting fluid ourselves with the excess resources that we already have in our inventory. So next, I'm going to show you how to get the plan for this item. But be warned, you only have a 20% chance of obtaining this plan on each character and you only have one shot during a specific quest line. Because of this, the plan is considered a mid to high tier trade item and can fetch a good price if you do decide to sell it. As soon as you exit Vault 76 when you start the game, you'll be given the quest line Wayward Souls. Go down the stairs and talk to Pennington if you haven't already, and then make your way to the Wayward. Upon entering the Wayward, you'll find that Duchess, the bar's owner, is being held up at gunpoint. You can enter a dialogue option with him and try to talk the situation down, but I just prefer to shoot him. Talk to Duchess and she'll explain that the man you killed was not the first one of that crew to barge into the Wayward and demand she turn over the location of a fellow named Crane. She enlists your help in taking care of these thugs and will give you a plan to craft a Crane Treasure Hunting Incorporated sign. There's an intelligence check here, so make sure you have at least two points in that special category. You'll pretend to be Crane, and when the thugs approach, you get them to give up the location of their boss so you can put an end to the crew. You'll get some materials and supplies from her and Mort, and then you'll begin the quest, Hunter for Hire. You'll go ahead and read the plan that Duchess gave you, then go to your camp or make your first camp and place down the Crane Treasure Hunting Incorporated sign. You can then travel to Relay Tower EMB127 on the western portion of the map, kill the few Scorch that are occupying the location, load the broadcast holotape into the Relay Tower, and activate the transmitter connection. You'll then travel back to your camp and await the crew member. You'll get a treasure hunter that comes by first but isn't part of the thug's crew. Then you'll have two free radicals approach and try to intimidate you into giving up the location of a treasure. 
you'll want to either perform a strength or a luck check here to find the location of the gang's hideout. Once you have that information, you can report back to Duchess. When you tell Duchess where the gang is located, Mort will chime in and tell you about a family that lives near there. You'll travel to Anchor Farm and speak to Daniel. He will act as though he doesn't know anything about the gang at the lumber mill and you'll have to perform a perception, charisma, or strength check. Once you do, Daniel will inform you that they deliver supplies and ammo to the gang once a month. He'll give you the password to get in the gate. Then you'll tell Daniel that you are going to kill the gang, and he states that he will have a little something for you if you do just that. You're then going to travel up to West Virginia Lumber Company, walk in the gate, and proceed to kill everything. Once you get into the lumber mill company office and go downstairs, kill Roper and make sure he's dead. Once you've killed Roper, go back upstairs and scrawl a message with the red paint to leave the wayward alone. You can then go back to Daniel to claim your reward. There is no quest marker for him, and again, there is only a 20% chance that you get the plan. If you're like me, and don't get the plan the first time, then grab another character and do it again. And again. And again. I'll be honest, I went through on all my mains and then my mule account, creating and deleting characters, killing Roper over and over and over again until I finally got it. It took me 10 tries, and a very persistent message to those butthole radicals, but when I finally got it, it was glorious. And don't get discouraged. One of my friends got two recipes his first two run-throughs, so my luck was just very bad. Now, let me show you what you can do with this thing. Cutting fluid can be crafted at a chemistry station, and you'll find it at the bottom under the utility category. It requires 2 acid, 8 bone, 2 purified water, and 3 steel. Now that may sound like a lot, but when we consider that most of us have an absurd amount of acid and steel in our stash box, and we tend to drop purified water off just to reduce our weight, the only concern becomes the bone. Funny thing about the Nuka World update, there's only about 3 dozen mole miners at most events now, and almost every one drops a mole miner gauntlet. When you decon the gauntlets, you get mole rat teeth, which in turn gives you bone. I walked away from the event seismic activity with 30 mole rat teeth and kept finding dead mole miners in the tunnel of love. See? Dead mole miner. Dead mole miner. And dead mole miner. Don't walk away from these events without looting and collecting that scrap. Once you do, equip the perk card super duper and you'll have enough oil to cause the fire breathers some trouble. Well that's about all we have time for today. I'd like to give a special thanks to the angry pleb who helped taxi me around while I farm for that wretched plan. If you see him out in Appalachia, make sure you don't take his camp spot or he'll probably drop a nuke on you. Just kidding. He's a great guy that would love to help any of y'all wastelanders out. But seriously, don't take his camp spot. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and until our next dumpster dive, this is the Trash Panda, signing off.